Welcome to the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. A difficult setting for those who find normal a bit lacking. Hmm, Estelle? Daddy is really late. I even got a message from the guild saying he'd be home today too. The sheriff's gone traveling around the kingdom on some kind of training. I'm so bored. Maybe I'll just practice with my staff a bit more before dinner. Hey, I'm home. Daddy! Sorry to have kept you waiting, Estelle. Did you take good care of the house while I was away? Of course I did. Did you run into any trouble, Daddy? You didn't get hurt fighting the bad monsters, did you? Nope. I'm as fit as a fiddle. Cassius. That reminds me, though. I bought you a present. Really? What kind of present? A new fishing pole? Sneakers? Something for my training? Maybe I raised you wrong, Estelle. Aren't little girls supposed to like glosses and jewelry? I like pretty clothes, but they just get dirty. And jewelry breaks when you go play outside with it on. Anyway, Lily. What's with the big blanket? Is that my present? Oh, you're a sharp one. Now why don't you come have a look? Wow! Well, here you are. Quite a handsome, handsome boy, don't you think? Oh. Why is my present a boy? Don't make such a fuss or you'll wake him up. Wake him up? You mean he's still alive? <laughs> Looks kind of dead if you ask me. I've treated his wounds, so should be in stable condition. In the meantime, however, we'll need to let him rest. rest. I'll put him to bed, so if you wouldn't mind heating a kettle of water on the stove, I'd appreciate it. Okay. He sure sleeps soundly, and you almost look the same age as me. This is the first time I've ever seen black hair like that, too. He certainly does have a nice head of dark hair, and a pair of amber eyes to go with it. Hmm, that's nice and all, but how about some come clean and fess up? Fess up. Who is the kid anyway? And why is he hurt? Why did you bring him to our house? Is he an illegit made child or something? Did you betray mommy? <laughs> well, we've been picking up these kinds of words. No doubt from Sherasat, I assume. Yep, that's right. For heaven's sake. That girl is going to get me into trouble one of these days with all her nonsense. Actually, actually, I just met this boy while I was out on business and I don't even know his name. You mean Bracer Business? Uh, something like that. Oh, look. Hmm? He's waking up. Hmm. Wow. His eyes really are the color of amber. Where I am? So you're, so you're awake now, are you? Welcome to my humble home. You'll be safe here, so please just try to rest. What are you trying to pull? 
Who? You must be out of my mind. Out of your mind. Why? Why did you why didn't you just leave me there to die? Why? Now that's a question I don't know how to answer. Does things just worked out that way work for you? The don't toy with me, Cassius Bright. Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself involved in? Hey! <laughs> you sure shouting a lot of uh, shouting a lot for someone who's supposed to be hurt. Running your mouth like that is just gonna make it they take longer for your body to heal. And just who are you supposed to be? I'm Estelle. Estelle Bright. She's my daughter. Don't you remember me telling you that I have a daughter your age? Now that mention it. Wait a minute. Don't try to change the sub. Ow! Quit, quit yelling. Alright, alright, already. But you jumping on me like that isn't going make me heal any faster either. I don't hear you yelling again, do I? Look, jumping on me like that is just going to make things worse. Do I hear yelling? Ne never mind, just forget it. As a word of advice, it would be wise not to be arguing with Estelle while you're in this house. <laughs> Even I wouldn't stand a chance if I made her mad enough. Yeah, I can see that. By the way, aren't you forgetting something? Huh? Your name? You know that thing that people call you. I told you mine already. So don't you think it would be unfair and impolite not to tell me yours? Um, it seems like the logical thing to do if you ask me. Trying to hide it now would only serve to your detriment. F fine. My name is... The legend of heroes trails in the sky.
Uh, <coughs> it's a bright in here. Yeah. Mm, I slept like a rock. Mm, that must mean it's Dad's turn to cook this morning. I wonder if that means Joshua's still in bed. Ah, I guess that's not a no. Well, I guess I'd better get myself ready then too. Nice, Joshua. Bravo. Good morning, Estelle. I hope I didn't wake you. Ah, I was already up when I heard you start to play. I can't believe how awake you are, though. Even the roosters still have bags under their eyes. Not that I mind, but with that siren songs of yours gently lulling this beautiful woman from her slumber. What do you mean, woman? We're the same age and I'm hardly a man. <laughs> How wrong you are, Joshua. We may be the same age, but I am clearly the woman of the house. And that makes you something like me, my loyal follower. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah. How fortunate for you. You could at least try and sound a tiny bit sensory. It really is a nice tune though, Cheer cheerful yet somehow wistful. I like your other songs too, of course, but it's one's my favorite. Yeah, what, what's it called again? The Whereabouts of Light. That's right, The Whereabouts of Light. I wish I could play the harmonica like you, Joshua. Sadly, it's a lot harder than it looks. Compared, compared to what it takes to use a staff, I think the harmonica is much easier. It's really just a matter of concentration. You're probably right. I guess my problem is just that if I don't do, any, some, don't do something that uses my whole body, I start to feel drowsy. Okay, playing the harmonica is fine and all, but how about getting some exercise too? All your hobbies are sitting around, kind of stuff like reading and music. No girl is going to be impressed with just that. <laughs> well, excuse me for being so unpopular with the ladies. Although, I feel like I should be the one lecturing you about your hobbies. I mean, what kind of boy wants a girl who loves fishing, collecting bugs and has a fetish for sports shoes? Uh, that's enough talk about hobbies for now. And for your information, I graduated from bug collecting a long time ago. Really? I believe that when I stopped finding beetles in the hallway. Hey, Estelle! Morning, Dad! Good morning, Dad. Is breakfast ready? It's ready and waiting. Why don't both of you hurry on down before it gets cold? Okay, I'm on the way. Thanks for the crop, Dad. Boy, I'm stuffed. Are you eating or inhaling, inhaling Estelle? Um, like people say, kids who eat and sleep a lot grow a lot. Well, make sure you get enough to eat, but don't forget to pour that energy into your work too. That reminds me, you two are finishing up your training at the guild today, aren't you? That's right. It'll be a review of everything we've learned up to this point. And once and once we're finished, we'll be praisers just like you, Dad. That means I'm not going to let you treat me like a kid anymore, Ada. You still lack understanding, Estelle. You can only become a junior praiser in the beginning, or in other words, a trainee. If you want to be treated like an adult, then you should work extra hard in your training to become a full-fledged praiser. Well, I'm not afraid of a little hard work. Just you watch and see what I'm capable of, Dad. That, Dad, I'll be so successful that 
it won't be long before I pass you too. That's the spirit. Let's see what you're made of them, shall we? Let's not start a rivalry here, you two. And Estelle, keep your focus on the task at hand. We have a test later on today, remember? Huh? Wait, what test? Please tell me that you didn't forget about the test, Estelle. You know, the one that checks whether or not we've mastered the skills we've been learning in training. Don't you remember Shira saying that if we failed, we'd be stuck with a ton of extra homework? Crap. Totally forgot. Now that you mention it, I guess I kind of remember saying something like that. Don't sweet it. I'm sure we'll manage somehow on our or other. I honestly don't know how we've survived this long, Estelle. Your brain is like a sieve. Baba is dead. How could any child of mine end up with such a careless, over-optimistic personality? Huh, you're the one that raised me, so I definitely got it from you. I swear, the two of you act so much alike, but whatever. We should probably head over to the girls soon, Estelle. Cheryl's going to be waiting there for us. Sounds like a plan. You know how crazy scary she gets when someone keeps her waiting. Oh, before I forget, it's my turn to cook dinner tonight. Is there anything in particular you'd like to eat, Dad? Any requests? Hmm, something I'd like to eat, huh? How about Ruined style scallop fish and a balsamic vinegar sauce. <laughs> well, what's that? I think that's a little more than Estelle's cooking skills can handle or our stomach. <laughs> You're right. I just wanted to see what kind of reaction I could get. I just have the usual fried fish and omelette. No need for anything fancy, but to try to make something edible. How rude! But I can't actually say he's wrong. Actually, I do have one favor to ask before you heat out. I'd like you to pick me up a copy of the liberal news from the general goods store. They're supposed to be getting the latest edition in today. Got it! Copy of the liberal news from the general goods stores. Received 500 Mira. If there's any money left over, you can have it as your allowance. Allowance. However, that means no wasteful spending. All right, thanks. Uh, all right, thanks, Dad. Okay, we're heating out now. See you later, Dad. Work hard and give sure up my regards. Oh, that's fancy fast. Can I do here something? Hmm. Elise Highway. City of Roland. It looks like we. <coughs> it looks like we made good time. Not too early or too late, Ada. We just barely graduated from Sunday school. I never dreamed we'd have to study so hard to become bracers. Well, you're in luck. Today is our last day of training. Truth, to, truth be told, Tato, you're the one who signed up to be a bracer in the first place, so I don't know why you expect to get away with any less effort. Oh yeah, I guess I did. Alright then, let's get it 
let's get to it and make it through this last hazing of Shara. You look ready to me. Let's meet with Shara at a bracer guild over there then. Roland plays a guild. There you two are. Good morning, Estelle. Good morning, Joshua. Morning, Aina. <coughs> Good morning. Is Shara here already? Yes, she's waiting for her upstairs. Once you finish today's training, you'll finally be recognized as members of the Bracer Guild. Good luck to be to the both of you. Thanks. We'll do our best. The star and the hanged man, the hermit and the magician. And last of all, inversion through the wheel of fortune. Hmm, this is a difficult combination. How should I interpret this? Good morning, Shara. Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua, this is a rare occasion for the both of you to show up so early. Since it's my last day of training, I figured why not. I'm ready to get this show on the road and become a bracer myself. I give you credit for your enthusiasm, but I'm going to work you hard today in every way I can think of make sure that high-spirited attitude of yours holds up. I hope you're ready. I can feel that enthusiasm dropping already. <laughs> Quite you. Every time I teach you something, you somehow manage to forget it. This training is my way of trying to keep some of that information in your head instead of letting it dribble out of your eyes like it usually does. Why, wow, if you are sure picking on me. Don't worry, Shara. While Estelle may, may hate studying and rarely ever does her homework, especially is overly, overly naive and has a tendency to stick her nose into everything. Her instincts are sharp so I'm sure she'll pick up on how to use an augment with some practice. Eventually, probably. I guess, there's, I guess there's not much I can do now except hope for the best. Hold on a sec, Joshua. Somehow I get the feeling that you weren't standing up for me. Well, that's odd. I'm positive describe all your best traits accurately. Accurately. Whatever. By the way, Shara. What were you trying to predict with your terror cards? Your face was really intense. Oh, this. I was just trying to get a you reading about what might happen in the near future. Unfortunately, I don't seem to have been in the right mindset to interpret the cards correctly. You couldn't read the cards? How that's surprising to hear you. Actually, the more profound the meaning of the cards, the more difficult they become to interpret. But that's not important now. I think it's time we start your final training. I'll give you a brief rundown of all the information we've covered in your previous training. This is the minimal level of knowledge that braces should have in order to function e effectively. And Estelle, make sure you pay especially close attention to what I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah. What would you like to know about? About augments. Augments are mechanical devices which operate by, by using what is known as orbital energy. A variety of effects can be produced depending on the structure and the type of quartz or processed septium installed. Although it's only been about 50 years since their invention, these devices play an integral role in all facets of life from lights Eaters and other everyday products, weapons, magic, and even airships. In connection, this technological reform is commonly known as the Orbital Revolution. About bracers. Bracers are investigate and combat specialists who work to protect civilians and maintain the stability of their respective regions. They, they aid 
community in various ways such as exterminating monsters, preventing crime, finding lost items and escorting people and goods. The Braces Guild, which has established branches across the continent, manages the affairs of the Braces in each region. About the Liberal Kingdom the kingdom of Liberal in which we live sits on the western half of the Samurian continent and abounds with nature and deep-rooted traditions. Liberal is proud to be one of the leading producers of septium on the continent and is owned for its high level of technology used to develop opmans. Open technology has also been a key pillar of support of Liberal in protecting its independence as it has contended with neighboring nations. Ten years ago, when Liberal was invaded by the Erebonian Empire, it was the use of orbital powered airships that saved the kingdom from defeat. Consequently, even now, our relationship with the Empire is somewhat sensitive, but thanks to the Queen's political finesse, Nibble enjoys peace. That's all. Let's see, since we've got a mountain of stuff to do today, I let you off, off the hook this time with a condensed review. I'm going to speed things up now and move on a practical portion of your training. Ooh, shut up! How is the day's practical training any different from the training we've done before? Since it's practical, that means you will be exper experiencing, experiencing things firsthand. Therefore, I'm going to have the both of you running through everything as if it is real, a real bracer job. So what we're, so what you're saying is there won't be any studying at a desk involved. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. This time you'll have to go out and make a physical effort to accomplish your task. I'll make sure to have your work up, sweetie. So I hope you're ready. Yes, that series is just what the doctor ordered. I didn't know what I was going to do if I had to sit another day with my touch parked at a desk. I guess I got, wor got all worried for nothing. Well, suddenly you're all bright and cheerful, Estelle. Let's just hope that smile on your face lasts until the end of today's training. Okay, let's get cracking on your first objective, shall we? Let's have it. Your first objective will be, will be to confirm the details of the job you will be performing. But before that, there is something that we need to give to, Bob, give to the both of you. Elena, Aina, are they ready? Yes, they are. All right, you two. Go get one for each yourself of yourselves. Quit wasting time and go get him. These are Aina. These are very important, so make sure not to lose them. Received Bracer Notebook. Bracer Notebook serve as the official way to record the status of your current jobs. Also, anything you may hear or anything that you may find and wear. These kinds of trivial things can often become clues. No matter how insignificant some things may seem, always write it down. Understood? Rap, this sounds like it's going to be pain. <laughs> Oh, you tell me it was my ears playing tricks on me, because as well I only got one response. Oh, I'm sure there will too. Keeping an accurate account of events is an important duty for all praisers. So, get with the program and stop trying to make this out to be more than it really is still. Okay, okay, I got it. Make sure you do. Alright then, let's begin. Look over by the door, you can see that there's a bulletin board standing there. First I want I want you to go and check the job description posted there. When the bulletin board is broached, a uh, mark will appear, pressing the OK button will display the job list. By selecting the job names on the list you can view their details. 
training that we will do. Training that we will. This training will involve searching the sewers beneath Roland and bringing back the contents of a chest since shells with showers at what it ties. Details of the job confirmed on the bulletin board and other important events will be automatically recorded in the Bracer's Notebook. The Bracer's Notebook can be easily found by clicking on the box tab of the Items menu. It can also be accessed by configuring a Bracer Book shortcut button on the Configuration menu. Very good. It looks like you were able to see what was posted without any trouble. <laughs> Checking the bulletin board is one of the most basic functions the Bracer Bracer performs on the job. Checking regularly to see whether or not there are any urgent tasks which need immediate attention is also an important duty for bracers. Man, all this talk about duty is starting to cramp my style. Sure, there are a lot of rules to follow, but there is an equal level of responsibility in the jobs themselves. I think being being a bracer calls for much more than just someone with a half-hearted attitude. Hmm, I guess you're right. I just have to be more motivated. He's... that so? Is that so? Had a change of heart, have you? You betcha! Well, before all, before all that motivation sneaks off somewhere, let's get to work on your next task. What will we be doing this time? While be heading across the street to Mr. Melder's Orbel factory and learning about how to use its services. He has graciously taken time out of his work schedule to explain things, so make sure to be on our best behavior. Oh, okay. Here's where you will learn to use an Orbel factory service, a factory services. At an Orbel factory, can modify the ordnance and synthesize support parts in order to use orbital arts. Arts have a wide range of effects and if mastered can be extremely helpful. The bracer business is a pretty risky occupation so the guild has has had a long standing relationship with these orbital factories. Anyway, this is about as much as I can explain. I leave the technical details to the expert. So Mr. Mulders. If it, if you wouldn't mind try taking over from me, no problem. Leave everything to me. So what is it that you would like to know about? Augments. Augments are mechanical devices which exhibit an array of effects through the installation of various types of wards. By definition, that means that lights, airships, engines, and so on are also types of augments. However, the ones we will be discussing today are battle augments, which enhance the user's physical abilities and make it possible to use magic. Since each augment is adjusted to match the owner's personal attitude, the, the structures for these devices also differ for each owner. Simply put, the shape of a fixed elemental slot and slots and lines, uh, slots and lines, which connect them vary. At any rate, that's the layman's explanation. In order to install quartz, you must first have an open slot. By default, the central slot is open, but the other slots must be open at an orbital factory like this. It'll take a fair amount of zippies too. EP which is needed for magic will also see a max increase according to the number of open slots. I recommend opening them all as soon as possible. So what is it that you would like to know about? Orbital Arts. Simply put, Orbital Arts are magic which can be discharged exclusively through the use of battle augments. In other words, a number of peculiar effects can be produced by using the orbital energy stored within these mechanical devices. Since Orbital Arts can be mouthful, they are almost universally referred to as arts, probably out to have been called that from the get-go. There are several types of arts, but in order to be able to use them, the corresponding quartz must be must first be synthesized at an orbital factory. Augments are also set up so that once of 
particular quartz is installed into a slot, the owner will be able to use those arts. The type of arts one can use also changes depending on the elemental value and the combination of installed arts. Basically, if you want to use water arts, all you have to do is install quartz with a water elemental value. In reality, opens are much more complex than what I have described, but I think this information should suffice for now. So, what is it that you want, that you would like to know about? Quartz. Quartz are circuits made from sapith. Quartz have a fast number of effects and raise the owner's abilities while simultaneously making it possible for them to use arts. However, you will not be able to harness any of these effects until quartz has been installed into a slot. However, there are also fixed slots in which only a certain type of elemental quartz can be installed. This being the case when you synthesize a new quartz, be sure to check your augment and device where you will be install installing it ahead of time. So what, is it, so, what is it that you would like to know about? Sepid. Sepid are fragments of septium which are dropped by monsters. They are divided into seven types earth, brown, water, blue, fire, red, wine, wine, green. Wind green, time, black, space, gold, and mirage silver. Sepid can be exchanged for mirror almost anywhere, but at the, Orbel F at the Orbel factory it can be used to synthesize quartz and to open open slots in which to install the synthesized quartz. So, what is it? Nothing. It looks like Mr. Maldus has answered all your questions. If there's nothing else, then let's have you both try and use the services here. For that, you're going to need some sap pit. Receive several, several of each type of elemental sap pit. With, with that amount, you too should be able to synthesize a few quartz. Now I want you to begin by first making an elemental quartz that will work with each of your particular augments. In your case, as tell, any elemental quartz is okay, but for Joshua it has to be a time elemental quartz. Also for Estelle all elemental quartz and Joshua time elemental quartz. <laughs> Normally at a shop you, you would be able to exchange CPIT for Mira, but for this training you will not be able to use this service. Upon approaching the counter, a talk mark will appear. Pressing the OK button will display a list of options. Select Modify or Tray to use the Orbel Factory's devices. Oh good, work so far. If you need to use the Orbel Factory, give Freddy a holer over there. A holer. Talk. Freddy, hi there. It looks like you two are doing well in your training. If you would like to modify your augments, please select the Modify Trade service. <laughs> the comp. All quads okay, all quads okay, all. What must I do now? Oops. Okay. Oh. How get I out here? How get I out here? Achievement skills. Memo page one. Oh, ah.
train with the wolves searching the sewers beneath Roland and bring back the contents of a chest. See Shara sat for details. Now I want you to begin by first making an elemental quartz that will work with each of your particular augments. In your case, install an elemental quartz is okay, but for you, you should. Then I must. Ah, quartz button it. I must. Here is this. Moment. Oh, that, that I must change outside the game. Oh, dear. Need some drink. Razor's notebook. Any liberal kingdom map? All quartz okay. Time for what? <laughs> okay. Modify and trade. Quartz. Synthesize action one, yes. One in the inventory. HP, attack, evade. Some words I must search for the beginning. HP, water element value, uh, earth defense, water what makes it ma ma max HP 5%, okay, strength and defense minus 10, weight, elemental ag agility 1, speed, SPD,
No. Bolt button every time you click on the back walls. And defense in the size, yes. Okay. Now. Alright, it looks like we were able to synthesize one. Next, I want, to, I want you to increase the arts you can use. Now install the quartz into your augment so that you can use both recovery and attack arts. Quartz can be installed in the augment screen. The augment screen can be utilized by selecting the augment tab in the main menu. Quartz is okay. Defense. Okay. One slot is open. The other slots are closed. Oh no. Now install a quartz into your augment so that you can use both. Look at your augment and make sure that recovery and attack arts are divided up between them. You can figure this out by looking at the arts and quartz charts in your Bracer notebooks in, in order to figure out which quartz you need to install. If you're lacking the necessary quartz, then you can synthesize them at an orbital factory. How? Now install a quartz in your augment factory so that you can use both recovery and attack arts. Look at your augments and make sure that recovery and attack arts are divided up between them. You can figure this out by looking at the arts and quartz charts in your Bracer notebooks in order to figure out which quartz you need to install. If you're lacking the necessary quartz then you can synthesize them at the orbital factory. The I can look in the moment. Ah, here you can look, but what? Orbit ah, stone hammer both things type red fire pole I have stone hammer both things into your open so that you can use both recovery and attack arts. As I do, huh? look at your open and make sure that recovery and attack arts are divided up between them. You can figure this out by looking at the arts and quartz charts in your place.
Uh, and how is the light is now? Can figure it out. Another single attack. Drop the large boulder. I need. I need an. Okay, okay. Another defense, no? It's a bisschen zeppelt. Na, du nach zeppelt, was? Cost 20 and have nothing. Which works. I can buy all. Get it out of my Singer that requires elements. Type require one element. One retired. Immunity use all the fixing it ready. Worse. Now install the quads into your augments that I have so that you can use both recovery and attack arts. Install the quads into your augments. With the augments and make sure that recovery and attack arts are the one up between them. No, I want. I want not. I've done. Boy quads, okay. He's done him all bloods. Must die. Ich 
Joker drops large part of the enemies. This is correct. <laughs> now I have here one. All right. <clears throat> no, it, uh, this works not because I had no, nothing. Yeah. All right, it looks like you've got both recovery and attack arts set up. If you balance your arts out between each other like you've done here, it should make dealing with monsters much easier. Additionally, your Bracer notebooks contain information about which cards allow you to use which arts. If you'd like to use more powerful arts, check out the arts and quartz charts in your Bracer notebooks and find something that works for you. Alright, the training here is almost finished. Last of all, I'm going to have one of you open a new slot in your opponents. The the more slots you have available to you, the broader range of choices you'll have. Since EP, which is consumed by using arts, can have its max value increased by opening up slots, it would be a good idea to open them all early on. Now I want to use it. now now I want you to use the sickles and open a slot on each of your augments. Go ahead and decide which slots you're going to open. Receive several of each type of elemental set. Talk. Modify and trade. Slot. Estelle. Open able. Back because this and Joshua here is all quartz okay in subsent see if it's why I see you've managed to open one of your open slots, Estelle. Since the central slot is not limited to a particular element, you are free to install any type of boards you like. This concludes your training here at the Orbel Factory. Now it's time to move on to what you've both been waiting for, the qualifi qualification test. Pardon? Did you say test? You can't honestly tell me that you forgot about the test again, can you? Didn't I remind you just this morning? Uh, now that you mentioned it, I actually remember some sort of talk along those lines at the breakfast table. Sometimes I fear for the future of the Brazer Guild and, and humanity. Oh well, no sense in worrying about that now. Let's he head over to the testing area. You mean like now? I don't know I've, if I'm ready for feel, test, testing feel. How about a little less yapping and a little more walking? Joshua, help me. Mr. Melder's ready. Thank you for all your help. 
don't mention it and good luck with the test of yours we'll be rooting for you i'm going to remember that you left me high and dry like this joshua all your training has finally come down to this the qualification test will begin here i expect to see you both use what you've learned up to this point understood What's wrong, Estelle? Mm, Cheryl? What now? I was kind of wondering, but is there not going to be a paper test or something? Did Cassius drop you on your head as child or something? You just read what it said on the bulletin board not that long ago, right? Yeah, and? And I even made you your down what you read in your personal notebooks, unless you forgot that too. I'm pretty sure your job listening, listing mentioned searching for and retrieving an item from the sewers. Ringing any, any bells yet? What a relief! Oh, divine ideas. I give thanks to the thee for thy infinite grace in best town upon such wonderful gifts as yours. So what you really say really saying is that you thought it was a paper test? No wonder you were acting all crazy back at an opal factory. Ah, I can already feel the nostalgia. All those horrible days stuck in a classroom are starting to feel like grand memories indeed. <laughs> I'm really starting to wonder if we'll even be able to graduate at all. What's wrong with you? Why do you have to go and say something like that when I'm trying to reminisce about positive things? Alright, that's enough jabbering, you two. This is supposed to be a test, so how about a, both of you try to at least look a little anxious? Just so you know, though, if you do happen to flunk the test, you don't even want to imagine the kind of homework I have in store for the both of you. Hey, we'll be fine. Just tell us what you want us to do and let us use. Well, if you, you're so confident, then how about providing that you're not just blowing hot air with the result of your test? Well, if you're so confident... Anyway, as you both saw on the bulletin board, this test will be be a search conducted in rolling sewers. Your objective is to retrieve the contents of a chest which has been placed somewhere within that area. The layout of the sewers is extremely simple, so you don't need to worry about getting lost either. However, there are real, living, blazing monsters down there, so if you get careless and let down your guard, you will be sorry. Also, let me give you this before I forget. Receive tier bot three. Receive monster guide. What is this book for? It's called a monster guide, and it's used to record information, record information about monsters and other opponents you meet. Whenever you figure out an enemy attributes, you should make an immediate note of it in there. Sounds pretty straightforward to me. He will. He controls the flow of information, controls the tide of battle, right? That's exactly what I'm saying. You've really got a good head on your shoulders, Joshua. That's some pretty useful advice. Thanks for the tip, Shara. Well, put it good news. Alright then, let's get pumped and knock out this test. Let's... Don't forget though, this is an except. We should make sure we treat it as such. But I want to know what's in here. Yeah. Firebolt. Strike. Oh, firebolt. Hmm. One lot. Strength I have. Evade agility. An 
else like because when I need when I put the attack in I have a defensive minus five percent that must not be in the beginning. So Wait a minute, Estelle. There appears to be a recovery point over there, so we should use it if your HP or EP become low. Open charging stations are recovery points set up in dangerous areas. As a recovery point is approached, a mark will appear and Two choices will be displayed by pressing the OK button. By selecting the rest button option, all HP and EP will be restored. Sounds like a plan to me. Once us at 12 o'clock, be careful not let them take advantage of a blind side. Got it? Once us cannot be seen from far away, you will become visible as you approach then. The conditions at the start of a battle will change depending on how a monster is engaged. Engaging an enemy from behind is advantageous while being attacked by an enemy from behind is disadvantageous. Battle order bar indicates who attacks first. It starts from the top and moves down. Estelle first, then okay. Estelle first, then Joshua, then the mobs, the monster. Can I move? Come not behind him. Oh. Hey. Mm. Was that a good idea? Boah, ich mag gar nichts. Oh, Attack. Attack, Attack an enemy, you may also use it to move if you are using a mouse and click an empty location start. The highlighted area indicates the distance a character can move. Selecting the target in this area will move the characters to attack. When an enemy is out of range and Icon will appear on your cursor. Selecting an out of range target will move the characters as close to it as, as possible. As as possible. But no attack will be performed. Attack. Why not? Uh, move. Yo. Hey. Take.
so we would be better. But he kills him. Choose a bow. Here comes some more. Depending the, on the enemy, some physical attacks may be ineffective. Let's use arts, not physical attacks. Okay! Arts are effective on enemies that are good at avoiding physical attacks. Arts also make long range attacks possible, but they require time to be cast. EP is consumed when arts are used. EP can be recovered by rushing at in totals or by using charge station and other items like an EP charge. Arts are effective against foes which are difficult to hit with a weapon for those on which physical attacks have little effect. It takes time before arts can be cast or the EP is consumed when arts are card cast. All arts have an element. Determine the element most effective against your foe and use it. Emits a time space shape and fuels faint. He speeds up the flow of time. Support. Ah, speeds up the flow of time. But I can go back, restore my day. by using crafts this time around. Since crafts has other effects besides just dealing out damage, they are worth a shot. Watch out that! Crafts have range limits, but can be utilized instantly. CP is gained by dealing out or receiving damage during the battle. Crafts are character specific kills which not, skills which not only deal out damage but also have a broad range on, of effects. Using crafts consumes CP. CP is gradually gained by dealing out or receiving damage in battle. More or less common. Beats an enemy senseless with a series of attack. And I, I, I must. This is a craft. This, uh, the other is a S craft. Shouldering is 
shout to encourage Ellie. She, she has a bag. On revival ball. Oh, what a surprise! Another creepy thing. I wish there were an easier way to take care of them. One blow using an S grub or S plate should do the trick for just about an enemy. The catch is our CP has to be at least 100 to pull off one of those moves. This is the the best. Hating attacks can only be unleashed when the CP gauge is above 100 percent As breaks are action with, which allows s to be immediately unleashed while ignoring the battle order. s which, which are unleashed as breaks can be changed by going tactics and then set s break within the main menu. are actions which allows s crafts to be immediately unleashed while ignoring the battle order once the CP gorge has reached 100% here's 120 oh. as of which will be used as s breaks can be changed by going press the button to unleash an s break an s break cannot unleash under in another bag. Yes. Come in. So, 
that's a treasure chest we're after, huh? If you if we've made it this far, the rest is gonna be a piece of cake. Seems like we've got a little breathing room at least. Let's play close attention to our battle orders this time. There should be a number of ways to get more mile age out of our actions. During battle there are several bonuses which can be allotted to turns. Turn bonuses have the same effect regardless of whether they are allotted to an ally or a foe. Using aspects to ignore the battle orders makes it easy to jump in and strip any an enemy of their turn bonus. Battle orders bonus, battle order bonus. These icons indicate a bonus is allowed to the battle order. If a bonus icon appears next to a character icon, they will receive that bonus. These icons indicate a bonus allowed to the battle order. When I when I make the battle order, when I fight after the battle order, then I get this bonus. Or if a bonus icon appears the ne appears next to character icons, they will receive that bonus. Heal. Sepit etc. indicates the effects of each icon. But I want I, uh, when did I want to heal um Shoots heavy storm of water. Heals to an point in Ellie. Ah, I could be. If I battle all of it here, I heal. Then I make it tier. Oh, this was this was luck. Uh, uh, he heals. I uh, just added
I must pull them. Hard. So. No way. Okay, more moved up. Normal attack. Aha, uh, the shoots I have is number of order. This needs these things, this is these safeties or whatever. Bob the boss party. Don't want that. Let's move out. small boxes. Hmm, that's weird. There's a couple of boxes inside the treasure chest. The fact that there's not just one, but two is kinda interesting too. Wonder what's inside. Remember that our mission is to search and retrieve only. I'm pretty sure looking inside those boxes doesn't fall under our mission objective. You're no fun at all, Joshua. This has nothing to do with our mission. It's what I like to call put honest curiosity. You know, we're the only ones down here. We can get away with a teensy weensy peek, right? If you feel like flunking today's test, then by all means, be my guest. Did you just say the F word? Yep, opening one of those boxes could result in an automatic fail for, the both, for both of us. If this were, if this were a real shop, the, content, the contents of those boxes would belong to the client. And as long as they were nothing illegal, we would have no right to open them. I know you're right, Joshua, but I just can't help myself. If you absolutely have to know what's inside, why not ask Michira when we get back? But for, for now, we need to focus on getting out of here. Alright, alright. <coughs> Good work, you two. As a rule of training, I'm going to need to confirm the items in your possession. Hand over small boxes. Yep, they're the real deal, all right. I don't see any evidence of tempering either. That was close one. <laughs> I figured she would try and set us up like that. 
Congratulations to the both of you. You have successfully passed your qualification test. You didn't really think something that simple would be a problem for us, did you? No, almost sure. What's in those boxes you had us get? That's for me to know and you to find out after the training is finished. That's enough chit chat for now, so let's get back to work. You two still have some things left to do. Seriously? But didn't you just say that we passed the test? You still have to learn about how to report the results of your work. I'm aware that you're both tired, but this is no time to short your duties. Let's get back to the guild. When is this day going to be over? Oh well, sensing giving up when the finish line is in sight. Agreed. It seems like we're within reaching distance of our goal. Your final training is how to report to the guild. Whenever you finish a job, it is your duty to report the results of your work to the guild. Reporting how you resolved the situation and the steps you took to get there are all part of your job as a bracer. You can report your results to the front desk in each guild branch. And as you already know by no know by now, Aina is in charge here at the Roland branch. In addition, this is where you will be paid for your work. I look forward to seeing great things from the boss of you. Know that we are here, why don't you both go ahead and report the results of today's training. Upon approaching the counter, a talk mark will appear. Pressing the OK button will display a list of options. Select report to report guild. Report. Roland Bracer Guild ranked Junior Brace 9th class. Total BP. Receive payment for training receiver. Payment and gain BP. Current rank is Junior Bracer 9th class. Good job, you two. It seems like you were able to complete your objective without running into any major problems. Another thing, thing to take note of. The of is that depending on how you handle a job, you may see an increase or decrease in the amount of pay you receive. When you report the results of your work to the guild, pay in the form of mirror isn't the only thing you will receive. You will also accumulate points which are known as BP, Bracer Points. BP are an indication of our achievements as a Bracer. When this point exceeds a certain value, you will at once in rank as a bracer and be awarded with a piece of special equipment by the guild. The ranks of a junior bracer starts at 9 and go all the way up to 1. Please set your side to make first rank and work hard. The amount of mirror and BP you receive will also be recorded in your bracer notebooks, so please have a look sometime later on. All that's left to do now is finalize the training. Let's head back upstairs, shall we? I'll, ta I'll talk to you later, Aina. It's all about putting more work on your plate today than usual. Don't worry about it. Training new press is important for the future of the guild. I fully intend to work these two to the bone in any case. To the b bone? And knowing Shara, it ain't worth the whip. Let me say it again, good work you two. You have now officially completed the entire training course. From now on you will be, lear will be learning from your own real world experience. Well then, Shavasad holds out two small boxes. Aren't those, the, aren't those boxes the ones? In answer to your question, yes, these are the boxes you retrieved during today's test. You seem awfully curious to find out what's inside the cell. Are you saying that it's okay if you open them? That's right. Why don't the both of you have a look and see what's inside? Sweet! Alright, let's have a look. Estelle and Joshua open the boxes. Receive Junior Bracer Emblem. <laughs> This quest is. So does this mean that we're. Um, Estelle Bright, Joshua Bright, begin this day at 
10,500 hours you are both terribly appointed as junior braces within the Bracer Guild. From here on, you will work as members of the Bracer Guild to support the livelihood of those around you, defend peace and uphold justice. Congratulations you two and welcome into the fold. Did you hear it? Did you hear that, Joshua? We've become members of the Brazen Guild. So I'm a prisoner, huh? I think the realization is only now just beginning to sink in. Come on, Joshua. You should be jumping for joy or running around and screaming at the top of your lungs like this. Look at us now, world. We did it. <laughs> I was happy until you made my eardrums bleed. I hate to interrupt this celebration, sister, but I need to take off now. I have some backup work at, that needs my immediate attention. We understood you have been spending a lot of extra hours working with us during this busy time for the guild. Before you head out, Shira, I just wanted to say thanks. Likewise, I appreciate all the trouble you've gone through for us, Shira. Don't mention it, training new recruits is one of a brace's many duties. Believe it or not, I was once in your shoes a long time ago when your father, Cassius, trained me. So that's why you have so much respect for my dad, huh? There's actually much more to it than that, but I saved that conversation for another day. As for the both of you, work hard to become full-fledged bracers early on so you can help guide those new recruits who come after yourself. And in time, I hope to see you both become respectable praisers like a father. Anyway, I leave you with that thought. Um, I just don't get it. Get what? This is just Sherazad, aka the Silver Streak, one of the most skilled young brothers we're talking about. So why is it that she holds that in such high esteem? He just, he just seems like nothing more than a no good middle aged man who is always doing, doing how, doing who knows what instead of being a father. And Oh, good middle-aged man, huh? <laughs> From your viewpoint, it doesn't come as a surprise that you would see him in that fashion. Huh? Never mind. Let's hurry and head and take it home. We should let Dad know that we qualified as junior praises. Right? Then let's head went home. Luke, hurry up and come. Whoa, whoa, wait for me, Luca. Oh, oh, it's you two. Oh, great, it's Estelle. Hi there, Joshua. Okay, you little twelve. What's with the oh, great, it's Estelle, Mama. And what's the big hurry? How about telling us where you're headed? You're not thinking about wandering out of out of town alone are you the roads are full of monsters i hope you know you're such a pest Estelle. <laughs> don't you know there's no room for girls to be sticking their big fat nose in boys business quit acting your brace or you wanna be how wrong you are Luke. how incredibly wrong you're more wrong than a fool who thinks there's better tasting milk in a liberal than the milk that comes from the person farm. But, no way, you're full of it, Estelle. In fact, as of just a few minutes ago, we qualified to become real praisers. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Real praisers. More like praisers in training, really. Don't think you should be getting on your high scores just yet, Estelle. Now a high pony on the other hand. Quit being a kill, kill joy. Wow, you two are great. I'm so happy for the both of you. <laughs> oh, Pat, you're such a good little boy. I like that smart, elegant, cynical brat you call a friend. It's 
this isn't fair. I supposed to become a brazen first. I can accept that Joshua became a brazen before me, but getting passed by the likes of Estelle. What? The likes of Estelle supposed to me? Just so you know, you can't even be a brazen until you're 16 years old. Got it? Only major people allowed. And that means no little kids who are still going to Sunday school. I don't know how I should put this, Estelle, but Sunday school is dying to have you back. You'd better watch out, Estelle. I'm going to do, I'm going to go train at my secret base and before you know it, I'm gonna be a bracer too. Come on, Pat, let's go. Alright, I'm coming. See you later, Estelle. Bye, Joshua. That boy Luke is always trying to pick a fight with me. I wonder if he just plain hates me or something. Rather, I think it's the exact opposite. What do you mean by that? Don't worry about it, it's just a boy thing. At any rate, what do you think Luke meant when he said secret base? I don't know why, but somehow it makes me a bit curious. I know exactly what you mean. A secret base sounds really intriguing. intriguing. The pure heart of a young child can be so inspiring at times. That's not really what I mean by cruel curious. I said, aren't you forgetting something? Dad asked us to pick up a copy of the liberal news for him at a general goods store, right? Oh, right, completely slipped my mind. Factory. Oh, that's the general good feel. Hello there, Estelle and Joshua. What are you in the market of for to in the market for today? A new pair of shoes? Now that you mention it, are there any new one is any new ones in stock? You know, like the newest triggers? Unbelievable. You've actually already forgotten why we came in here to begin with. We're not here to shop. We're supposed to be buying a copy of the liberal news for Dad, right? Ah, uh -huh, of course. Ha <laughs> ha You've always been a big collector of those shoes, haven't you, Estelle? I'm afraid that the new triggers aren't out yet. I do, however, some copies of the liberal news in if that's what you're after. Alright, I'll take one copy then. That comes to 100 euro, please. Purchase Liberal News 100. Uh, issue 1. I know Dad always buys a copy of this magazine, but does it really sell that well? It sure does. The Liberal News has an excellent reporter and camera woman who have done a great job reporting the latest and most valuable news. They are even supposed to have a running story related to Queen Alicia's birthday celebration. But enough about that. Why don't you tell me how you did today? Did you make it as bracers? Today was our last day of training, wasn't it? Yep, everything went smoothly too. But how did you know about all that, Mr. Renon? Ah, in a certain sense, both, both you and Joshua are like celebrities here in Poland. I tend to hear a lot from customers coming through here. I shouldn't have expected anything less from Roland. The grape wine around here is seriously something to be reckoned with. No kidding, a woman here especially loved to gossip. One more thing before you go. This gift my, is my way of saying congratulations. It's a free sample item I received with my shipment of goods, but don't hold the free part against me. 
Detective Recite book. What's this supposed to be? There's a ton of blank pages. <laughs> it's a Recite book. book, isn't it? You got it. When you got, when you get hurt fighting, if you just limit yourself to healing bones all the time, it's going to cut pretty deep into your wallets. This is where a Recite book comes into play. If you eat food to recover, your strength in that is basically free. Assuming you have all the ingredients in a way. So if you eat something new, write down what's in it. And you'll have a lot of loose, lots of recipes in no time. So how about we try this out? Go ahead and eat this cookie as well. If cookie. Well, I have made it a personal rule to never turn down sweets. Uh, eight maple cookie. Learn maple cookie recipe. Basically, all you have to do is eat the food to learn the recipe. It's a simple. It's as simple as that. As you're traveling about, you should eat whatever food you come across that you haven't had an opportunity to try before. As you're traveling about, you should eat whatever food you come across. Well, that sounds pretty convenient. Convenient. Um, it's not that I don't like cooking at all. It's just that I never seem to get any better. I do love to be able to increase my repertoire and really shock my dad's taste buds for once in my life. That's the spirit. And in passing, if you're, if you're in need of any ingredients, I'd be delivered to serve the cooking needs. You really know. You really know how to solicit your customers, Mr. Rinon. Thank you for the recipe book, we we'll put it to good use. Eating the recommended dish at restaurants or using to go meals adds the recipe to the recipe book. By selecting the recipe book, all non recipes will be displayed. As long as the necessary ingredients are available, the food can be made. There are two types of food, sit-down meals, which must be eaten, on the spot and to go meals which can be carried as items. Sit down meals cannot be carried as items. Ingredients used for cooking can be bought at a store or acquired from monsters. As there you saw, I'm glad I found you too, Aina. Oh, hi Aina. Is something wrong? You seem to be in quite a right to be in quite a hurry. We've got a bit of we've we've got a bit of a problem. Is the father at home today? Yes, he is. He said something about having to sort out a bunch of documents. But what's going? But what's going on? You know, Luke and Pat, right? Sure we do. In fact, we saw them not that long ago. What's wrong? Are they in some sort of trouble? I don't know how to say this, but I just heard from Uni that Luke and Pat ran off to the tower that lies on the northern outskirts of the Roland. You mean the tower of Esmel Esmelas? Isn't that place supposed to be a breeding ground for monsters? That's what they say. Unfortunately, at the moment, Sherazad is out on the brazer business, so I want to ask your father to bring the boys home safely. What are you talking about? There's no time for that. Joshua and I will go after them and bring them back. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Two of you only just qualified to be junior braces today. With all due respect, I believe that Estelle's judgment is correct in this situation. If the two of us hurry, we may even be able to catch up with the boys before they reach the tower. I understand. I will take responsibility for whatever happens. As an emergency request from the Bracer Guild, I ask that you lose no time in bringing about a safe, retur a safe return of these children. Roger that. Understood. The Esmeralda 
Esmeralda's tower can be reached by taking the western path at a junction along the Malga Trail. You can get onto the Malga Trail through Roland's northwest gate. I'll be, own, I'll be on standby at the guild, so if you run into any trouble, you know where to find me. This is our first real job. Come on, you sure. We don't you have any time to lose. I'm right behind you. The migrator is through the northwest gate. That's a smaller exit next to the landing port. I know it already. Then so. Yeah. I was surprised. Oh, that's not, uh, no good time. Oh, whoa. Spell. Okay, move out though. Oh, what does it Now have a look in the side book. Cooking requires a cyber and necessary. Yes. Fresh milk, milk floor, maybe sugar, maybe that.
Was für zweite Mobs? South World 26 Cent in der Offen allgemein. Das Miller Towers war, war ein Miller Tower war es. But where stand my question? So, ich esse es noch. Oh. Bye, till next time.